In another video, we looked at how split testing can shape the traffic to your site so that it's shared across different uh, branches that you've nominated. Now, you can do some clever things with this as well. So I wanted to show you uh, a way that you can use this to uh, allow people to opt in to a private beta of your site. So let's uh, imagine this scenario again for the Vaporium uh, and imagine that we're about to roll out uh, a new section of the site that we wanted to give some people a chance to opt in to preview that like you might do with a new feature or something along those lines. So what I've done is I've created a page here called VIP. Now this is just an informational page. Um, it gives the, the, the visitor some way to understand what the context is of what they're going to do. And it gives them a call to action, a button to opt in to now enter that private beta. What this button is going to do is it's going to give them the chance to nominate to use the branch that you've specifi specified. So let's go and look at behind the scenes about how this works and then we'll, we'll get this all set up. So over in our admin, let's go and look again at the split testing. Uh, and at the moment, uh, we don't have uh, an active split test, but what we'll do is we'll choose to shape the traffic between the main branch and our VIP trial branch. So this is the, the kind of hidden beta section that we want people a chance to get to. Now, if we run this test as is, half the visitors will arrive at our standard experience and half will arrive at our uh, kind of exclusive VIP experience, this beta that we want people to get a chance to, to, to choose to enter. So what we can do is if we change the way that we're shaping that traffic to tell Netlify to direct all of the traffic to the main branch and none of it to the VIP branch, what we can do instead of leaving it to chance for the, the random, randomly generated uh, cookie, um, what we can do is set the value of the cookie to be the branch name itself so that people can nominate to arrive at this branch. And we can do that with a little bit of JavaScript. So let's save this first of all, and we'll start the test. Uh, and now if I go back over here and I refresh this page, yep, I'm gonna go exactly where I would be expecting. I'm going still to the same branch, the production branch, nothing different here. But I have come to this VIP page that I've, that I've set up. Now this button, what it will do is it will set a cookie. It'll set the Netlify split testing cookie but instead of it being a random number, it will actually be set to the value of the branch we want to serve people from, and then it'll reload the page. So if I click that, okay, so we're still on the same URL. We're still on the production URL, we're on the VIP page, but now we're being served from the different branch. So this is the VIP test branch. So it's the same page, the VIP kind of entry entryway, if you like, but now we're saying welcome to the new area. Um, if you'd prefer to opt out, you can do that. And again, there's a call to action. This button will clear that cookie. It will delete it and reload the page. Let's go back and forth a couple of times. There we are. We've gone back to the other main production branch. Um, let's opt in one more time and see what other changes there are. Well, yes, we're serving things with a gold VIP theme. Of course we are. Uh, but then also our home page has a different product on it now. Now the coffee cup is $1,000. A little steep, but if you're a VIP, you probably want this be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons uh, mug instead. Um, not going to click by now, I don't think, uh, but let's go back uh, and uh, opt out of this. I think I think I can get my mugs a little bit cheaper, although still $300. Okay, so there it is. There's a, a split test now running in a way that allows users to nominate to enter a private beta. Let's just look at quickly at just that one bit of code that really needs to exist for this, this to happen. Since we already have the split testing set up to shape the traffic, now it's a question of making sure that we give people a chance to specify that cookie. So if we go and look at the code for this, um, this is uh, the code on uh, the VIP trial branch, but we, I also have the same code running on the master branch. We've added a bit of JavaScript, which has a few things here. So the first thing we have in our JavaScript is this is a utility function. This is just a button handler that I often use as a utility to help me attach click events to, to different elements and specify a callback function. So we can kind of gloss past this. This is uh, just a utility function. The really more interesting thing happens here. So we've got a couple of button handlers that we've we've added. So the first one adds a, 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 an event handler to um, an element on the page, which is button opt-in. So that is, pop over to, to take a look at it. That is this button. 
that's this button that's the uh, the ID of this button so when we click that button what happens is we uh, create an expiration date a year in advance uh, with this bit of code and then we set a cookie um, you may have not remembered from a previous video that the the split testing uh, feature of Netlify drops a cookie um, and we're doing this explicitly here instead so we're setting the Netlify a B uh, testing cookie instead of being a random number between 0 and 1 now we're specifying the branch that we'd like to go to and setting the expiry and then once we've done that we simply reload the page now the traffic will be shaped by Netlify in the background to go to this branch instead of the master branch and if we skip ahead down to the the other button handler that we, we're creating here this is our opt-out handler uh, and this does the opposite this uh, attaches to the button that we're uh, showing people to give them a chance to opt out of the the private beta and there all we're doing is expiring the cookie setting the expiry date uh, well in the past uh, and then reloading the page and that's all that's going on uh, we do have uh, some different content in each branch but really this is uh, the the kind of mechanics that we've seen in the split testing uh, before and the branch deploys before then so there we are that's the the way that you can use split testing to instead of shaping traffic at random sending all of your traffic to uh, one specified branch unless users explicitly opt to go to another branch that you're exposing but not shaping traffic to in the future lots of interesting things to explore with split testing um, this is a good one to get your teeth into.